In this video, I will show you how to use z-score to find the percentage of data below a certain value. So the mean weight of adult men is 172 pounds with a standard deviation of 29 pounds. What percent of men weigh less than 150 pounds? Well, um, so I recommend organizing your work this way. We're going to have two graphs. Here we'll do some work, and here we'll put our final answer in a sentence. So it says the mean weight is 172. So on this graph, we will go ahead and put 172 right in the middle, because that's the mean. And um, so over here, we're going to go ahead and do pounds. So I'm going to label this as pounds. Um, this graph is going to be for z-score, so let's label it as z-score. Now the mean z-score is always zero. Now in addition to that, we have, um, let's see, what percent of men weigh less than 150 pounds? Now that's less than the mean, so I'm going to put that on the left-hand side. So here's 150. Now um, we're going to have to figure out what the z-score for that is. Right now we don't know. We'll do that here in a moment. So what percent of men weigh less than 150? Because they're saying less than, then please understand that we're interested in this area to the left, all right? Because that's less than 150. But first, um, we're going to use this chart of z-scores. So if you don't have one of these z-score tables, then you need to uh, Google it and download one because you, you need this to be able to answer these types of questions. Okay, now this is a chart of z-scores. So we're going to need the z-score instead of um, pounds. So the way you convert over, and I'm temporarily going to borrow this area for the formula. It's not really what goes over here, but the formula for z-score is like this. You take any value, you subtract the mean, and you divide by the standard deviation. So that's the formula. So let's do that right now. So to find the z-score, I'm going to take my value of 150, I'm going to subtract the mean, and I'm going to divide by the standard deviation, which was 29. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so here we go. Now, for z-scores, we're always going to use two decimal places. So we're going to have to kind of cut it here. Now, rounding is going to be very important. Um, because this next number is 5 or greater, that means this number is going to have to be rounded up. So our final answer should be negative 0 0.7 oh, negative 0 0.76 because we have to round up. Okay, so we have our z-score of negative 0 0.76 and um, just like on our pounds diagram we want to find the percentage of z-scores to the left of this one. And here's where the chart comes in. This shading here reminds us that this table of values gives us the percentage of z-scores to the left of any particular z-score. So all we have to do is find the z-score that we are interested in over here on the left. So we want negative 0 0.76. Okay, so let's see. Negative 0 0.7 is right here. Um, now we can't see these, but this is 0 .70, 0 0.71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the column that we're going to be wanting. So let's go back. So like I said, this is negative 0 0.70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the percentage of values to the left of this z-score. So as percent, this would be 22.36%. Okay, so we will say the percentage of z-scores 
to the left of negative 0 0.76 is 22 point, I forgot, 36%. Okay, that means this some yellow area right here represents 22.36% of the data, and that should match these weights over here. So again, this will be 22.36% um, of the men weigh less than 150. So let's go ahead and just write that as a sentence. Um, this will be our final answer here in the box. Um, so 22.36% of men weigh less than 150 pounds. And that's the final answer.